I'm, I'm like Johnny Depp. I don't watch the movies I, I do. And you so, do a lot of movies. I do. <laughs> so many movies that we've been interviewed by Nardwar. Mr. Stephen. Stephen. I have a gift to you. We haven't really been interviewed by Nardwar, but we know him. Yeah. So um, quite a character. <laughs> yeah. So have you ever seen the Nardwar? <laughs> have you ever seen that Nardwar video of him uh, talking to the. Uh, yeah. Just pull it up. Yes. We yes. We have young, it looked up. Young Nard. See, this is one area of podcasting we're still figuring out. Do we pretend like this was actually organic? No. Yeah. We're prepared. We want to look. Good. So here's Nardwar uh, talking to the Prime Minister of Canada in 1997. I don't know how you say his fucking name. Kretchen? Yeah. Um, and it's not Trudeau's dad. It's not Trudeau's dad. <laughs> Turn this up. Okay, here Does he is. mace equal freedom? Would you, would you have been maced yourself back then, <laughs> Prime Minister Kretchen? <laughs> but, but I don't know what you mean by that. A mace? Pepper spray, some other members. Oh, but of the I don't know. This technique did not exist in those days. <laughs> Ooh, he gets served. For me, pepper, I put it on my plate. <laughs> Next. Damn, um, he fucking owned his ass. You know, this is probably <laughs> why. One of the things I've noticed about Nardwar, and you know, Eric Andre tried his hardest to get him to like break. Is this going to be that kind of party? I'm going to stick my dick in the mashed potato. Mm -hmm. He is like a, a, a pre-recorded tape. He just yeah. hits play and just waits until there's silence. Then he moves on to the next question. You can edit this. Who's editing it? Check, check, check. Because this is the real thing. I don't even want the interview. I want this stuff to be on it before we go anywhere. Here, he had to acknowledge, you know, the answer. And yeah. he, you saw he has this Great look of shame on his face when the guy's like, I had a mace, pepper spray, pepper on my food. Next. <laughs> and he gets, you know, he, he doesn't even. He should have said, uh, I don't know, I'm trying to think of how he could have got Nardwar with his own bullshit. He, what well, you know what he should have done is, um, I sprinkle it on my uh, on my dinner. Do 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 do. <laughs> and then make, it's made pepper him. pepper spray. You have to know. Yeah. <laughs> I, and I have a gift for you. Damn, I hated that seeing that even though i like nardwar and i'm about to pour all my love out on nardwar uh that line of questioning does mace equal freedom watch the mm -hmm. whole thing because we didn't give you the Do full context mace but. lives matter <laughs> george floyd oh, wait, do we have that do we have the mm -mm. mr floyd no? no okay okay big floyd keep on rocking in the free world and do do the loot do well nardwar did interview george floyd it's yes. out there somewhere he had a gift for him. Yes. And we thought it was a real $20 bill, but now we have learned An since old then. rotting banana. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have learned that Nardwar does let his guests keep the presents, so the hard way. While we're on Nardwar, I wrote down some of my favorite moments. Yeah, what are your favorite Nardwar moments? So one Maybe. of my... Well, okay, the first time I saw a Nardwar video, I think to my knowledge, was like in 2012 when he did the Odd Future one with Tyler, the creator, and a couple oh, yeah. other. It was the very first Odd Future one, and I liked Odd Future then. I had some Odd Future socks. That was cool. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I've seen... The, I went to the Odd Future store. Yeah, I think I got them... Like, Down the a, street. I think I got them at a Spencer's Gifts or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so... <laughs> but... Um, but, yeah, no, I like that interview. That was your first... And that Tyler, the first... creator's... Uh, response to it, I still think is like one of the best. Like Tyler the Creator loves Nardwar and that's why he's done like good, five good, interviews. Good. Let me see. So you think if I pull him up too, like Tyler the Nardwar? Yeah, look up the short of him crying. He's like, Tyler, you made my life better. <laughs> Seriously, like Nardwar is the one crying? Yeah. Do do a Nardwar thinks Tyler the Creator. He, I love that you put spelled thanks for me, but think like thank you. Oh, thanks him? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought it was like, this is what he <laughs> thinks about him. I'm sorry. Jeez. Oh, there's the first video. Thank you again for talking to me over the years. From Love 2011 this music. <laughs> till now, like five times we have talked. It's been, it's been a lot. It's been oh, 10 He's years. just mistaking him for Snoop Dogg. <laughs> how terribly I aged. I really appreciate you talking to me, Tyler, because I think the first time that people knew who I was, really, the original was soy your face. interview with me in 2011. <laughs> they heard of me for the first time. That's a damn lie. Had you heard of me before 2011? Because I would like to thank you. Thank you, Tyler. I love this Paramore music <laughs> yeah. in the background. Because it really turned a lot of people on to my interviews. Thank and you again. And that's no joke. That was the first interview I ever saw. And then I watched 
I'll let you tell yours, but I saw the Jay-Z one and Jay-Z was a major asshole to Nardwar the whole time because he didn't know who uh, he was. Yeah, yeah. And then I saw the Blur one and that was an ancient one from like yes, one yes. of his early I, ones and they were like beating him up. They like bullying him, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Whitney Cummings, she was mean to Nardwar. It was, oh, it, was it was a Sarah, yeah. Sarah Silverstone yeah. and um, <laughs> the other bitch, Whitney Cummings. Well, Whitney Cummings will get what's coming to her later in the show. Yeah. Yeah, they Ready. didn't quite get it. Sorry, I looked up Slap Ham um, by Nardwar. He had a band, and that was his song. I was going to try to oh, pull I it up. Oh, I listened to his music. It's, I've listened to that first album. It's uh, it's like kind of like math rock sort yeah. of music. One plus one equals... <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It's like the top of that. Slap Ham, Slap Ham. Don't get up or not. My first Nardwar interview that I watched was technically with Julian Casablancas and the Strokes, and he was the the aggressor to the Strokes. He was being he was being very rude to both of them. And um, let me I actually want to see if I can pull up. I some don't know moments. if I've seen this, and I know we both you're probably a bigger Strokes fan than I am, but oh, yeah. I know we both still love well, what. Come on, dude. I okay, fine. Yeah. But you're anything you're into, you're more because you're fucking autistic and you. I know, but I have all the Strokes album. Like, yeah, yeah, you know, you're in, you're more of a fan. It's in my elite class Material of things I'm autistic makes about. Makes you better, fine. Yeah, exactly. The newest, but the whatever. love that I have for them inside, I don't know if you know. Go ahead. I, would, <laughs> I will challenge you to that. You like the Strokes more? I don't care. I think the first thing he had a problem with too, since I'm jumping around playing a little roulette, was um, the Is This It album cover. It, they had to change it for the U.S. because mm-hmm. the original one was like too sexual. So he keeps so he keeps saying because the ass. Um, this girl with a velvet glove with a hand on her ass, he keeps saying, like, why don't you smell the glove, Julian? Like, sort of like, keeps saying by the way, I want to say he's wearing like, a Joe Camel shirt, yeah. and Joe Camel needs to make a major comeback just, in this country. <laughs> there's been all, are you all right, man? There's been all these, like, articles and all this oh, stuff. Oh, the just press, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't they haven't been too nice to the Strokes. This is before their first album even dropped. That's Nick of the Strokes. What did Nick almost do there, Julian? You better lay off the Spinal Tap references, man. We're not, we're not interested in Spinal Tap references. Well, it's cool. I like Sp- Spinal Tap and behind the music, all those shows, they're like educational videos for like what not to do, you know? And it's just, it's like a real struggle against like record company and like people like that. They really want to, they want to, they want to they make, they want you to sell out. We can go across the road now. Right. But actually, let me just rephrase that. Smell the glove. No, there is a reference yeah, yep. to your record there, isn't there, Julian? Please explain that. Smell the glove. Oh, right. That's, that's the way it's released in Europe, I think. Explain for people that haven't seen it, please. Well, actually, actually, the album the album cover is going to be different in the U.S. and Canada, I believe. Uh, did it come out already here? No, it hasn't. Not until I think the fall. But what is the record looking like? It's just uh, the cover is uh, a girl's ass it is not profile. Big Bang. Ass. It's not, that's not going to be the picture it's in the Canada. Two different Big album covers, you know, like in different parts of the world. And in Canada, I- but this is kind of an interesting. You know, the older Nardwar interviews are very fun to watch because it's like artists who don't understand right, Nardwar. Right. And so, you know, to them, they're like, this guy's like kind of off, but he's probably what New York Times, right? For Canada, Canada Times, Canadian Times, whatever. So yeah. They don't. They don't fully and now know. you know it's like when Doji Cat or whoever's there, like she knows she's gonna get ten gifts. So yeah, it's like yeah. it's impossible not to have high energy for him because you know who he is already. Mm-hmm. So you're right. I like that variability in some of the early interviews. <laughs> yeah, Doji Cat just has like a giant backpack, like ready for all the <laughs> <laughs> the gifts and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Nardwar, we love you. Crispin Glover was interviewed. Same thing, though. He didn't know who Nardwar was, and he's just answering the questions. And I liked the Eric Andre one, yeah. though, when he just says that he smells. You got quite the musk, my man. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm getting hit with waves of your armpits. A boca! You smell like a man. It's good. Yeah, he... Uh, and then I'm trying to remember. So he doesn't get him to break. No, he does not. He tries. Yeah. So have you ever seen him? I, okay, there's Edward. one where he breaks, but not because I don't think of anything somebody did. At the end of the little B one, he breaks from his like pose, uh, which I don't know. Have you ever seen that before? I don't know. Maybe. He's like, all right, yeah. thank you. Great. All right. <laughs> Thanks so much, little B. Really appreciate it. It's amazing. <laughs> this is what he said. He's like, all right, thank you. He breaks thank from his pose. Thank the little B one is awesome. Little B's. Like, shout out all the 4chan hackers and all the <laughs> trolls online. Will be the original irony boy. I've never I've never heard of him. His music's hilarious. Uh, and other hilarious music, Danny Brown, that's a good one, too. Ooh, ooh I'd have to check that one out. Mac DeMarco was yeah. an early one outside yeah. of the strokes. And they talk about everything that you want to hear. Mm-hmm. The thumb in the butt and yes. the whatever else. What did he stick in his ass? Drumstick. Yeah, okay, the drumstick, his thumb, then he sucked his thumb. Yeah. 
and uh, him masturbating in a sock. Something like that. All the stuff yeah, that yeah. Mac would love to talk about. Exactly. <laughs> and um, yeah, have you seen the DJ Khaled one? There's one, uh, I don't know if he's done it multiple times, probably just once. But at one point, like he like cuts the interview short. He's like, stop asking these. He thought mm-hmm. he thought Nardwar was like a Fed, like an agent, like gaining <laughs> intel. He's like, yo, how you know that? No, dude, seriously, you can't ask that. Your sister has a shoe store in Jacksonville. You're getting deep now. You're getting deep. You know, I keep my family out of these conversations. You're getting deep. You get your, listen. We're going. I, I, big up to my family. Big up to. Them. Big up to my whole family. We, I, I got, I can't, I can't put, you're getting deep. You're getting too deep, Jay. I, I, I like you. Like, chill out. Let's not get too deep now. Please. You, yo, you're not the people, right? Like, <laughs> did, I mean, it is kind of surprising that more of the rappers, just because, you know. Yeah. They're not like, oh, shit, man, what? How you be knowing that? Yeah, yeah. 